Time Zones for Kids A time zone is the standard time for each region in the world. There are 24 time zones across the world. Six of those time zones are found in the United States. The U.S. has four main time zones. Plus, Alaska and Hawaii have their own. The four main time zones are Pacific, Mountain, Central, and Eastern. Can you guess where each time zone gets its name? Eastern is on the east side of the United States. And Western is on the west side. Central means middle. And the mountain time zone got its name because of the Rocky Mountains located in that region. Each of these time zones can also be abbreviated using their initials. M-S-T stands for Mountain Standard Time. That is the standard time for the mountain time zone. C-S-T stands for Central Standard Time. P-S-T stands for Pacific Standard Time. And E-S-T stands for, you guessed it, Eastern Standard Time. In the United States, there is a three-hour time difference between the East Coast, where New York is found, and the West Coast, where California is located. Many people in New York are getting out of bed at 6 a.m., while most of the people in California are still snuggled in theirs. When you're watching TV, have you ever noticed a list of shows advertised along with the time they will be shown? Often, you will see the time followed by letters. Those letters tell us the time zone. If you don't live in the time zone that is listed on the TV, it doesn't mean you will miss your show. You just have to figure out when that show will come on in your time zone. Using the map, what time do you think a show at 7 o'clock in the mountain time zone would start if you lived in Maine? If you lived in Maine, the show will come on two hours later or at 9 o'clock. Because the eastern time zone is two hours ahead of the mountain time zone. Hawaii and Alaska both have their very own time zones. Looking at the map, if your favorite show comes on at 7 o'clock in Colorado, can you figure out what time it would come on in Hawaii? Did you say 4 o'clock? Well done! Now. How about Alaska? If you said five, great job! As you can see on the map, if you move from east to west, you subtract hours from your time zone. If you move from west to east, then you add hours to your time zone. These clocks show the four major time zones in the United States. When a student in Oregon is eating lunch, a student in Colorado has just finished, a student in Ohio is ending the school day, while a student in Kansas still has one hour to go. China is unique. It is a large country that only has one time zone. Mornings in China can be dark or light depending on where people live in that country. If you have ever traveled on an airplane from one country to another, you might have had the unique experience of never having it get dark, even though many hours have passed while you were flying. That happens when the airplane moves the same way that the Earth is spinning, or it follows the same path as the sun. That's amazing! Have you ever heard adults talk about jet lag? Jet lag means you're very tired going from one time zone to another time zone that is much earlier or later than yours. Here's an example. If you went on a trip from California to Italy, 
you'd probably feel tired during the day and wide awake at night. Why is that? It's because when it's 11.30 a.m. in California, it's 8.30 p.m. in Italy. Your body would feel wide awake at 8.30 p.m. in Italy because it would feel like 11.30 a.m. to you. Now that you know all about time zones, can you name which time zone you live in? Do you remember how many time zones are in the United States? If you said six, that's exactly right. What is the time difference between the West Coast and the East Coast? If you said three hours, you got it right. Which two states have their very own time zones? If you said Alaska and Hawaii, you're on a roll. Nice job. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.